So you might have seen the ITEL S23 Plus. I think everyone can agree that we weren't expecting that. I for one wasn't expecting any more smartphones from ITEL for the rest of the year. And I definitely wasn't expecting a 150K flagship smartphone from ITEL, but they did it anyway. Now, if you watch my review of the S23 Plus, I basically said there's actually a lot of stuff to like here. The design, the display especially, battery life, the cameras, they are pretty decent. Performance is okay, but overall, a very solid phone. For sure, the best ITEL phone. I think it's a step in the right direction. In fact, a bunch of steps in the right direction. So overall, I felt it was a very, very decent phone. I think the only hiccup I had was with the processor they went with. But that's not what we're talking about in this video. The problem has to do with people's expectations, and it's kind of twofold. There are those who look at the S23 Plus, and because it looks so sleek and premium, they automatically assume that this is a premium, true flagship. So when they go out and buy it, use it, and it doesn't live up to their expectations, they then feel disappointed. People say, don't judge a book by its cover, but let's be real, we all do that. So with the S23 Plus, one problem I see is people expecting heaven on earth with this phone, just because of how it looks. So I think people have to understand that this is still a budget phone, not a true flagship. And I know that the pricing doesn't help. 150K is a lot of money and shouldn't be considered the right price for a budget phone. But unfortunately, because of the state of the Naira, phone prices are higher than they should be. But yeah, this is still a budget phone. And if you don't adjust your expectations, it could be a problem. <laughs> Problem two is also linked with expectations. Because ITEL have in the past made affordable phones, when they make a more expensive phone for the first time, people just assume that this is the same old ITEL. Why should I pay more money for it? So instead of focusing on the phone, they then focus on their perception of the brand. When I posted the unboxing of this phone, I saw some of these comments, and although annoying, I did understand why they would say stuff like that. I didn't agree with it, but I understood it. And this isn't just an ITEL thing. I saw this happen with Techno when they launched the X2 Pro and more recently the Phantom V Fold. So it's somewhat normal and expected that people react negatively to something different from the norm. But I think as time passes by, people will then start to see it as the new normal. But for now, for the S23 Plus, it could be a problem. Now, this isn't me saying the S23 Plus is perfect and has no issues because it does have issues. In my review, I pointed out some things I did not like. You should probably go watch that. But yeah, I think this phone is great at some things and not so great at other things. And that's fine because it's a budget phone even though it doesn't look like one. So yeah, that's about it. Just some random extra thoughts. Um, I would say this was a reaction to people's reaction to the S23 Plus. Could be a new format, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about you know, this new style. Also let me know what you think about the things said in this video. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you when you see me.